Hello, mathematicians. Today we're going to be looking at lesson 10.7, which is about elapsed time. Our essential question is how can you solve elapsed time problems by converting units of time? Hey there! Cagney said he could run round the block in less than five minutes. So to prove his point, Cagney had me time him running around the block. The problem is, the timer only counted seconds. Cagney ran around the block in 290 seconds. Is that less than five minutes? I'm not sure how to figure this out. Can you help us find out how many minutes it took for Cagney to run around the block? Great! Let's get started. Here's a problem about elapsed time for you to solve. A computer company claims its laptop has a battery that lasts six hours. The laptop actually ran for 350 minutes before the battery ran out. Did the battery last for six hours? Let's unlock the problem. Convert 350 minutes to hours and minutes. First, we can use a clock to figure out how many minutes are in one hour. In one hour, there are... There are 12 numbers on a clock. And the minute hand moves from one number to the next in five minutes. So we can find the number of minutes in one hour by multiplying. Twelve times five equals... An hour has 60 minutes. In order to determine how many hours and minutes there are in 350 minutes, what should we do next? Let's divide the actual life of the battery 350 minutes by the number of minutes in an hour. The quotient 5 remainder 50 can be expressed as 5 hours and 50 minutes. Now you can compare the actual life of the battery, 5 hours and 50 minutes, to the computer company's claim that the battery lasts 6 hours. Is 5 hours 50 minutes greater than? less than or equal to what the computer company claims. It is less than six hours. So the battery ran for less than six hours and did not last as long as the computer company claimed. Let's try solving a problem by measuring time on a number line. Monica spent three and one half hours working on her computer. If she started working at 9 in the morning, what time did Monica stop working? Let's unlock the problem. Use a number line and a clock to find elapsed time. You can use a number line to show elapsed time. Since Monica started working at 9, you can place that number first on the line. Then, using the number line, skip to the next hole for every hour she worked. How would you show the next two hours on the number line? 11 o'clock and then noon. How will the last half hour appear on the number line? You can show the half hour by moving forward halfway to the next unit on the number line. You can also find elapsed time by using a clock. Monica started working at 9 in the morning. The hour hand is at 9 and the minute hand is at 12. After working one hour, the hour hand is now at 10. How will the next two hours appear on the clock? 11 o'clock and then noon. How will the last half hour appear on the clock? The hour hand moves halfway between 12 and 1 and the minute hand is on the 6 to show 12.30. So Monica stops working at 12.30 p.m. Let's complete a problem using a clock to find a start time. 
Robert's soccer team needs to be off the soccer field by 11.45 a.m. Each game is at most one and three-fourths hours long. What time should the game begin to be sure that the team finishes on time? You can start with a clock set at the time the team needs to be off the field. To find the start time using a clock, first subtract the minutes. If one quarter of an hour equals 15 minutes, then how long is three quarters of an hour? Well, three times 15 is... Three quarters of an hour equals 45 minutes. What time is 45 minutes earlier than 11.45? Three quarters of an hour or 45 minutes earlier makes the time 11 o'clock. Then subtract the hour from 11. What time should the game begin? The game should begin at 10 o'clock a.m. Let's try a problem. Convert 88 hours to days and hours. First, how many hours are in one day? In one day, there are 24 hours. Excellent. There are 24 hours in one day. How many days and hours are in 88 hours? So you have to go in and do 88 divided by 24. So you count by 24. So you have 24, 48, 72. That's not it. You can divide the number of hours by 24 to get oh, the didn't number put of in days that. I didn't and put hours. hours. Sorry. Let's do it step by step. We get the 16 hours because 88 minus 72 is 16. Sorry. I was checking step by step. Now let's practice oh. with the personal math trainer. So that is all we have for today. Um, I'm going to ask that you answer one question for me and that you then rate your level of understanding using 5 to 5.